Hey guys, in this video I am going to show you my Ferrowrod bootlaces. Please check, please stay around and check it out because they're really good and I really highly recommend them. As I said, the Ferrowrod bootlaces. This is my boots. Yeah, as I said in the intro, I will leave. I'll put a clip in closer look at the boot laces. But yeah, All right, guys, these are the boot laces. These are my boots. I know they need to clean. I'm going. To, I'm doing a video on that, so I'm trying to make them as mucky as I possibly can. <laughs> but I don't like it. So yeah, there's the fair ones on the boot laces. As you can see, there's the laces on my boots. So yeah, All right. I'm going to turn you around and then I'll um, go through them. Okay, this here is the Feral Rod um, boot laces. I highly recommend them. They are 1.3 meters, so I think that's roughly. I think just in, just just under four foot, or maybe just over. I'm not. Don't quote me on that. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not. I don't work in feet. I work in things and other things. I'm trying to learn the feet. So. Yeah, this is the third one. I do highly recommend them. They're reasonable prices. In the UK, give me a second guys, I've got the actual things here. Right, in the UK, they cost £1.60. And for you guys in America, they're $1.79. So, yeah, they are good, as I said. Um, they are going to come from China, these cheap ones. As I said, it is, I don't... I don't know what I should call this video. I don't know if I should put it in my budget playlist or I'll put it in my budget playlist, but I don't know if I should put it as budget gear or not. So I haven't thought of that yet. I will let you know. You will find out in the title. So yeah, these are the fair ones. They're not very big, they're very small. I say it's about a centimetre by about three mils. So yeah. They do strike, I will show you. They do strike. They are good strike. They are good. I won't recommend these to say people to say, oh, I'll put them. I'll wear that. I'll put them on my boots and I'll keep them on my boots. They do come with strikers. I haven't got the striker on me because, as I said, I don't keep the striker on my boots because it's all in it's rust. So yeah, I do recommend them. Um, the other thing as well, and I didn't know this until this one snapped. It is five fifty cord. The lace is actually five fifty. What I thought was bloody good. The only thing I wish it could have, but it's not a bummer in my opinion, is just a piece of wax, tube twine, tube, bleh, tube twine in it. So how then you'll have your tinder as well as your fair one, because that's if you're in an emergency and you had to use your shoelaces, then things like that. But if you didn't need to use your shoelaces, then these don't need to be touched. I haven't touched the ones on my, on my boots for six, no, not six. I think it's about eight, nine months now. This one was on my jacket for, for 12 months until, until I caught it. And as you can see, I caught it near the end and I just pulled and not pulled, I pulled my jacket and that bit of metal came off this end. So, and it snapped it, it didn't snap it, it just pulled it. So, yeah, and as you can see, this bell one comes out. But as I said, this one, I've had this one on my jacket for so long. And since then, I just pulled this one to see how hard it is to come out. And it wasn't that hard. Not that hard, it wasn't that easy, I meant to say. It took me a while to pull that out. So, yeah, right, well, I'm going to leave it here, guys, because it's now coming to four minutes and this is a long video already. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. And cheers for watching. Thank you. Bye bye.